Welcome everybody. Hi, I am the sports judge. Thanks for tuning in and checking out the channel. This year's squad versus the 1992 Dream Team of 92. It seems, and there are other people out there that have compared them, but everywhere you turn, there's somebody debating which team is the greatest. And it has opened up dialogue to have a real discussion about it. It's cool and trendy to all of a sudden talk about this with the Olympics going on. The amount of people I got to watch on social media say the 2012 Team USA is better than the 1992 Dream Team. It, 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 it's unbelievable to me. Man, and this is just... A debate people want to have because they've run out of shit to talk about so they feel they have to have this discussion stop it you already know what I'm gonna say you guys already know where I stand with this I'm I, I'm too predictable when it comes to comparing the dream team to the 2012 team or this current team it puts me in a bad mood when you have these casuals saying shit like this team USA is, is better than the Dream Team. Stop it. They're, they're actually comparing the 2024 Team USA squad to the Dream Team? Good Lord. Good God. There's no way this current team or the 2012 team is better than the Dream Team. This is nowhere near that same caliber of that 1992 Barcelona team. We're, we're never seeing a team like that ever again. Kids today will never understand what it was like growing up in that era. The Dream Team's average margin of victory was 44 points. The 2012 team was great. The 2024 team should win gold, but nobody of any era or year wants to see a 92 Michael Jordan. They tried to compare this team in 2024 to the original Dream Team, which has generally been viewed as the best team ever assembled. It's like comparing a Volvo to a Tesla. You can't. They can't compete with that 92 team. It's a great conversation. Let this current team win the gold first before renaming them or comparing them to the Dream Team. But look, what this team is doing to everybody just look at what they're doing to everybody. And while I had my concerns about this team's sloppy play, the turnovers, the inability to gel together, and you know, maybe just the way they looked in warm-ups, I think they're, they're going to win gold. You can't really sit and compare the 2024 squad and the 1992 Dream Team, though. You can't do that. And really, right now, we're arguing this. We're talking about this. If you had Jordan and the rest of those guys playing today, would they average what they averaged in 1992? The rules have changed. There is no physical contact, really. No rough play. No defense. I don't know if you really can compare different eras because of that. The Dream Team was dominant, but with the way the game has changed, and, and, and I've been talking about how international play is getting tougher, it's getting better, basketball is more popular, and gets more global reach, and it's just that the global basketball movement is coming and asserting itself. The competition today is far ahead than what it was 30 years ago. So, with that team, Jordan, Barkley, Bird, Stock, Stockton, Malone, Ewan, and those guys... I mean, they didn't face anything remotely close to that. It's a different game. It's more globalized. And the rest of the world has caught up to the Americans. Now, if we're talking about the Redeem team or this current team having a chance against the, the 92 team, I think the 92 Dream Team absolutely mops the floor with either team. It, it's really tough to say what that 92 team would do today. We never really saw the best 
of the 92 team. Back then, they were so much better than the rest of the world at that time in the game. So we really can't say. But I'll take this as a compliment if you say this team now is better than the 92 team because what that means or what that says is that they're good enough to win gold. They're good enough to win gold. I will admit, I was an MJ guy. I thought 90s basketball was the best in terms of physicality, the style of play, the, the effort, the energy the players brought. You can say the 92 Dream Team was just the most successful Olympic team because of disparity between them and the competition. Over the years, basketball has become much more of a worldwide sport. So the talent representing other countries has improved immensely. It's played everywhere now. But you know, at the top level, a team like the Dream Team can destroy this current team. Yes, I said they can destroy this current team. And, and, and um, yeah, I think our guys today would stand no chance against that 92 team. Defense, physicality scares today's players. So, you know, it's just a different game. So many easy twos get sacrificed for threes in today's game. Players get better over time. The game has changed, but the fact doesn't change that the 92 team is still the greatest team to do it. The 2012 team had a seven-point win versus Spain. So to say that they would beat the 92 team is brainless to me. So let's break down why I believe this was the dream, this was the best team, the dream team. Well, Michael Jordan, arguably the greatest uh, player of all time, right? The Bulls was the most, the Bulls were the most dominant NBA team of the, of the 90s. Stockton was the best distributor and all-time steals leader. Barkley was nearly as effective as Rodman, rebounding, but much more polished offensively. David Robinson was a massive upgrade. You had the six-man, Malone, sharpshooter, Chris Mullen. The, the chemistry and role playing on, on the 92 team was so much better. The 92 team knew how to play defense. They had some of the best defensive players in the history of the game. The redeemed team was not the best team ever assembled. Please stop it. I'm hearing people say that crap. No, they were not. And this team now that only won by one against South Sudan in the warmups certainly isn't the best team assembled. And yet we call Kevin Durant the most skilled player ever. We regard Steph Curry as the best shooter ever in, in, in history. And we hype up LeBron like he's the best player to ever dribble a basketball. And then you have these casuals truly believing this team is better. I just feel this new era of players are a bunch of softies and eagle maniacs. And I'm being real when I say that Malone would completely wear out Kevin Durant in the post. Come on, man. I mean, come on. Guys, use common sense. Come on. We don't appreciate the fact that the 92 team had 11 Hall of Famers. They were the better team. They played better together. And I don't think these guys have the mental capacity to deal with that 92 team. People also forget this, that Team USA in 92 had beautiful ball movement. I mean, an exceptional ball movement. They passed the ball really well. I mean, come on. We're really sitting here having this conversation on which team is better? Give it a rest, you guys. Come on now. The dream team will always be the greatest team in Olympic history. Thanks for watching, everyone. Really appreciate the love and support. Hey, if you guys like my content um, and if you guys want to come back for more, do me a huge favor and hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate the love and support. You guys are great. Uh, we'll chat really soon. I'm getting out of here now. Uh, take care. I'll talk to you guys again when I talk to you guys again, whenever that may be.
I don't know. It could be sometime tonight again, maybe. We'll see. But till next time, you guys take care, and thanks for watching.